Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Jetatorial. JetBlue will no longer offer hot meals for economy class passengers on its transatlantic flights, replacing them with chilled options such as overnight oats, soba noodles, and chicken grain bowls. This change follows a successful trial on seasonal flights to Dublin and Edinburgh. Premium mint class passengers will still receive hot meals. JetBlue stated the new menu maintains high standards while helping the airline offer competitive fares. The shift is part of the airline's broader jet forward strategy aimed at restoring profitability. JetBlue reported a 25 million net income for the second quarter of 2024 following previous losses. Additionally, JetBlue plans to open its first airport lounges at JFK in 2025 to enhance its premium services. In other developments, American scientists Victor Ambrose and Gary Rufkin were awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine for discovering microRNA, molecules that regulate gene activity. Their research explains how cells with identical genetic material like nerve and muscle cells develop different characteristics by controlling which genes are activated. Conducted in the 1980s, their work initially faced skepticism as it was thought irrelevant to humans. However, later findings showed over 1,000 microRNA genes in humans proving its importance across multicellular organisms. Ambrose is a professor at the University of Massachusetts Medical School, while Ruth Kuhn holds a position at Harvard Medical School. In other updates, a new study published in JAMA Internal Medicine found that arm positioning can significantly impact blood pressure readings. Researchers compared three arm positions, resting on a desk, on the lap, and hanging by the side. Results showed that systolic pressure was nearly seven points higher when arms were hanging compared to when resting on a desk. This discrepancy could lead to misdiagnosis and unnecessary hypertension treatments. Experts emphasize the importance of proper technique, including supporting the arm at mid-heart level to ensure accurate readings. Patients are encouraged to advocate for correct measurement methods to avoid inaccurate results. In another update, the Draconid meteor shower will peak on October 8th and will be visible after nightfall, offering a few meteors per hour. Unlike most showers, the Draconids are best seen in the evening rather than early morning. These meteors are slower, making them visible for one to two seconds. The moon will be 23% illuminated, improving visibility. The Draconids are caused by debris from Comet 21P slash Jacobini Zinner. Though usually sparse, the shower has produced meteor storms in the past with thousands of meteors seen in 1933 and 1946 for optimal viewing head to areas with minimal light pollution. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.